So you're thinking about moving to Spartanburg, South Carolina, and you want to know all the top things to do. Well, in this video, I'm going to unpack so many fun things and yummy things that you can do in Spartanburg, South Carolina. So let's get into it. So if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is about Spartanburg, Greenville, and the upstate as a whole, then make sure you hit subscribe and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know everything about the upstate. I'm Tracy Roberts with the Atlas Home Team, and we love to help you have a smooth transition right here in the upstate. So whether it's a week from now, or a year from now, we want to help you. All of my information is below and let's jump into the video. Number six, the Chapman Cultural Center. It is a nonprofit organization to make sure that the arts are in the community. It is a high level immersive program that has helped 40,000 40,000 students in the area. There's 100 volunteers and 389 annual events have happened with 200,000 visitors. It is a great place to go check out artwork, to check out ballets and theater performances and so much more. You wanna check that out while you're here. Number five, the Hub City Farmers Market. It's on Saturdays, eight to 12, mid-April through mid-December, local vendors bring their vegetables, their flowers, their produce, and their yummy pastries, and then you get to enjoy them and take them home to your family. There's also vendors that come with food trucks and things like that. It is covered, so it's similar to the Fountain Inn one. It's small like the Fountain Inn one, comparative to like downtown Greenville or the Traveler's Rest one. And also as we talk about that, it isn't downtown per se. It's close to downtown, but it's not in the heart of downtown. You definitely want to check it out if you like to have local fruits and vegetables and don't want to make the trek into Greenville. Number four, the Mary Black Rail Trail is the perfect way to get yourself outdoors, get some exercise and enjoy the fresh air. 1.9 mile track that is an urban trail that was created on the old Norfolk Railway. It's really cool. And the little crowning jewel for it is the rail yard community. It has an amphitheater, it has shops, it has restaurants, it has all the things you could possibly want. And it's just really cool that you get to be able to be around your friends, be around your community, and enjoy the sights and sounds of Spartanburg. And then there's Croft State Park, 7,000 acres of absolute gorgeous outdoors. So you have walking trails, you have biking trails. I think there's 10 biking trails. There's ample horse riding trails. There's even horse stalls if you wanted to camp here and your horses needed to stay or if you were gonna be here all day with them. There's playgrounds for the children. There's uh, picnic areas. You can rent kayaks, you can rent canoes. You can go boating here. You just can't do a gas powered boat. It has to be electric powered like a John boat and you cannot fish with minnows because they don't want to bring outside um, species into the lakes. There's Lake Craig here and then there's Lake Johnson. Lake Craig is the more known one that you would be fishing on which is behind me. It is really cool and kind of scary. Okay so let me explain. You can't swim here because this used to be Camp Croft, an army training camp so they don't know what's under there. Seriously, that's what the explanation was. So there could be stumps, there could be um, mortar shells from different type of things. And so when you come, first thing you want to do after you pay the only three dollars, y'all, three dollars to be able to come to the state park, you're going to want to go to the main little house and the office and you're going to get one of these. Inside of here it has a plethora of information to let you know the trails, where the trailheads are, where you're allowed to do whatever, um, where the restrooms are. It even has things that you need to know like the horse arena, the pasture for your horses. It's pretty cool for an amazing day without having to go far away from Spartanburg that you can actually do it. When we say how far it is, it was 20 minutes from downtown and only 9.8 miles for you to have a great outdoors day with your children. And you never wanna miss going downtown Spartanburg. There's so many beautiful buildings to look at, amazing restaurants. The revitalization has been so amazing. Like the building behind me and it's white brick and there's so many other gorgeous buildings in the streets and the, everything gets blocked off on Thursdays um, after five for music on Main. There's just so much to do in downtown Spartanburg. You don't want to miss it. 
you definitely want to check out Spring Fling. Every April for three days, you get to come down. There's all the streets are blocked off in downtown Spartanburg. There's live music, local vendors, there's craft beer. There's so much to do and the children love it. And you get to know your peers in the community and make fellowship with other people. It's a great event. You've got to check it out. So last but not least is Wade's. Wade's is an absolute staple of Spartanburg. It is a meet and three amazing country food that is just so good to your tummy. It just won the James Beard American Classics Award. It has been here since 1947. 77 years y'all 77 years it has been in one family that entire time wade and betty Lindsay. so they just gave it to their children three years ago and they didn't change anything on any of the menu except for two little things that have nothing to do with the flavor i promise everything's going to be the same so if you've had it before it's going to be the same flavors that you're used to and all the yumminess it's still the same 3500 rolls they make a day serving 2500 people and 700 and 50 turkey plates. How crazy is that? Some of the changes that they made though made it life easier for us as clients that come. And so one of the changes are you no longer only can pay in cash. You can pay by credit card if you need to. Awesome. And it is no longer just a sit down. You can take it to go. You can order Grubhub or you can do DoorDash to have it. So there you have it. Everything about weights and you're going to want to try it if you haven't been here before. So some of the things we love in our family are the turkey and dressing, the meatloaf, and oh my God, the hamburger plate. Oh, it's so good. So try it when you get a chance. So there you have it. All the fun things that you can do in Spartanburg, South Carolina. So if you're thinking about moving here anywhere in the upstate, make sure you reach out to me, Tracy Roberts with the Atlas Home Team. We'd love to help you have a smooth transition to the upstate. All of my information is below. And if you want videos just like this, make sure you tap here to see more.